The last several years he's been a good friend and I've looked for him for advice and guidance on several issues. But please help me welcome Reverend Sam Talbert. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker, for inviting me to come to share in the prayer today. And also, I acknowledge the presence of my state representative, Mr. A.B. Franklin. And at this time, I'd ask that we would bow our heads in a word of prayer. God, we pause now from the work charted ahead of us for this day and beyond to recognize your essential presence, eminent power, and everlasting promises. We dare not venture into the agendas of this session without seeking to invite you into our discussions. Lord, we humbly admit that our tasks are beyond our human capacity to solve without your divine intervention. Holy God, as this institution of legislation sets out in a new year to enact laws for the people of Louisiana, bless the new speaker, Mr. Chuck Cleckley, his colleagues, the President of the Senate, Mr. John Alerio, and his colleagues, as well as our Governor Bobby Gender and his entire administration. For Lord, we realize that they are faced with numerous challenges that must be matched with mercy, integrity, and compassion. Grant them again these needed graces. Throughout their deliberations, increase their capacity to make decisions which lift the most and serve the common good for all parishes of our state. Heavenly Father, as this state leaders embark on a new year of important decision making which shall impact the citizenry of this grand old state, I pray you guide them with divine wisdom. With the increased number of social issues such as child poverty, high percentage of incarcerated persons, educational deficiencies, mental health stresses, retirement matters, and just a long list of community concerns. We pray now fervently for these men and women who occupy these chamber seats. In the midst of all these issues, we yet remain grateful for how you have blessed this state with tremendous human and natural resources. You have provided for us the raw materials of intellectual capital as well as material capital to solve any dilemma that we face today. Lord, help this body to add and subtract correctly so that at the end of this session, their decisions that they render will be better for this state. Help these lawmakers implement policies which lift the least, reward the hardworking, deal fairly with strangers, and encourage more business development around the state as our population pursues prosperity and a living for their families. For I am now reminded, Lord, in sacred scripture that you speak to us that every soul should be subject unto the higher authorities. These authorities are established by your divine powers. You teach the rulers that they are not a terror to good works. And so we are astonished by the fact that these rulers are ministers of God to us for the good. Bless each family member as they support their family members who serve in this state government. Lord, we are aware of the fact that some tensions will reside in this capital as these lawmakers discuss and decide upon what they feel in their conscience is best. I pray that you grant them a peace in their heart which passes all understanding in the midst of these times of tough decisions. We pray your blessings upon the state from Alexandria to Algiers, from Bossier City to Baton Rouge, Ville Platte to Vidalia, New Orleans to New Rose, from Lake Providence to Lake Charles. Let your justice prevail in these chambers. Your mercy come in multitudes, and your love will last in our hearts. It is in the mighty name of Jesus we pray that you would bless this state. Amen. Thank you, Reverend Talbert. Members, if you will remain standing, Representative Tabero will introduce our guest speaker, our singer today. Thank you. Good afternoon, members. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for the opportunity to introduce 
Uh, Mr. Earl Taylor, many of you may remember him from last session with his melodious voice that he blessed us with. Mr. Taylor is a native of Baton Rouge. He graduated from Xavier University and retired from Southern, Univers Southern University as a professor and administrator. He is married to Ms. Leela Harris um, Taylor of 51 years, and they have four children and five grandchildren. Please join me in welcoming Mr. Earl Taylor as he bless us with the national anthem. Thank you, Representative Barrow. I would like to say that I'm a appreciative for this opportunity to stand here in the presence of my colleagues, of my representatives, of those who come to do what is right, and now to honor America, our national anthem. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight all oh, the reports we watched were so gallantly streaming under the rocket red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say, does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Members, if you will remain standing, Representative Arnold will lead us in the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Morning hour number five. Petition memorials and communication. The speaker appoints the following committee to notify the governor the House is organized and prepared to do its business in this regular session. Representatives Arnold, Fannin, Badon, Tim Burns, and Burrell, if you would meet at the back door and see uh, Mr. Lemming, who has his hand in the, ha in the air. Representatives Arnold, Fannin, Badon, Tim Burns, and Burrell to uh, committee to notify the Senate that the House is convened and prepared to conduct business in this session. Representatives Dove, Guyman, Lambert, Ritchie, and St. Germain, please go to the back. See Mr. Ross, he has his hand in the air. Dove, Guyman, Lambert, Ritchie, and St. Germain. I see you here. Hi. Really? And I just thought you missed me. And I just, and I just thought you missed me. Come back and do too much.
members, we have a committee from the Senate to notify us. Uh, Senator Peterson, for announcement. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. On behalf of the Senate and Senate President John Alario, I am here to notify the House of Representatives that the Senate, yes, is present. Yes, we are organized. I think that is the case. And I think we are also prepared to do the business of the state of Louisiana. I am joined here with my colleagues, Senator Gallo, Senator Cortez, Senator Perry, and Senator Mills, the former Representative Posse is what we're known as across the hall, and we want to know if it's always going to be this way that we have to wait on the House before we can speak and do any of the business of the Senate. And that is the question that has been posed, and I will let my colleagues speak at this time. If permitted, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Rever uh, Speaker Pro Tem Walt Leger has a comment. <laughs> wait, Mr. Speaker. I didn't know that I was able. I would be getting questions. This is the last time I was at this podium. I was just asking for the five-minute rule, Mr. Speaker. <laughs> Actually, Speaker Pro Tem Leger, I pressed the override button, but it didn't work. So <laughs> we're working on that. Thank y'all very much. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. A uh, further message from the speaker, pursuant to House Rule 14.20, the speaker proposes the following uniform schedule of committee meetings adopted by the House Representatives. This schedule has been sent to every member of the House, posted on the House website. It lays out committee meeting schedule week 1 through 12 and will be spread upon the journal. Morning, hour 6. Send it up to the resolution. Morning hour number six, introduction of resolutions. A resolution pre filed as House Resolution 1, Representative LaRusso commends James Edward Jimmy Fitzmorris Jr. Representative LaRusso, Mr. Speaker, asks we suspend the rules purpose of adopting this House resolution. Any objections to adoption of the resolution? Without objection, so ordered. Gentlemen, as we had all members of the House by name as co-author. Without objection. Concur resolution. Pre-filed as HCR number one, Representative Guyman directs Commissioner of Administration to change the expenditure limit for fiscal year 2012-2013, HCR one. It lies over. Concur resolution. Pre-filed as HCR two, by Representative Marino urge West Tax Commission study make recommendations relative to the practicality. It lies over. Concur resolution by Representative Lapinto. Pre-filed as HCR three, authorized directs the Law Institute study make recommendation. It lies over. Concur resolution. Pre-filed by Representative Brossett as HCR number four, commends Jim Henderson. Upon retirement as sports director of WWL, Representative Brossett, Mr. Speaker, as we spend the rules, purpose of adopting the resolution. Without objection? So ordered. Concur resolution by Representative Schroeder, pre filed as HCR 5, continue to provide respect task force legal representation. It lies over. Concur resolution by Representative Stuart Bishop, pre filed as HCR 6, amends the Department of Law and Fishery Rules. It lies over. Concur resolution, Representative Henskins, pre filed as HCR 7, memorialize the United States Congress, take actions. It lies over. Concur resolution, Representative Pugh, pre filed as HCR 8, recognized July 2012 as. Sarcoma Awareness Month in Louisiana. Representative Pugh, Mr. Speaker, as we spend the rules purpose of adopting the resolution. Without objection, so ordered. Concur resolution, Representative Pilot. Pre filed as HCR 9, uh, commends Cameron Wyndham of, of Gene upon a receipt of a 2012 Prudential Spirit of Community. HCR 9, Representative Pilot, as we spend the rules purpose of adopting the resolution. Without objection, so ordered. Concur resolution, Representative Reynolds and others, pre filed as HCR 10, memorialize Congress, take action necessary to encourage national marine fisheries. It lies over. Concur resolution, Representative Hoffman, pre filed as HCR 11, memorialize Congress, take actions necessary. It lies over. Concur resolution, Representative Jim Morris, Mass Department of Transportation Development Rules, HCR 12, it lies over. Concur resolution, Representative Tim Burns, urge request the law to state of Louisiana's existing law, HCR 13, it lies over. Concur resolution, Representative LaRusso, commands General Bennett Lander no upon his Retirement HR 14. Representative LaRusso asks we spend the rules purpose of adopting the resolution. Without objection, so ordered. 
And Mr. LaRusso asks that all members be added by name. Without objection. So ordered. Resolution Representative LaRusso commemorates 225th anniversary of signing the Constitution of the United States. H.R. 15, Representative LaRusso asks we spend the rules purpose of adopting the resolution. Without objection, so order. Concur resolution representative Foyle approves and pro rules promulgated by the Indian River Brain Basin Drainage Water Conservation District, HR 16, that lies over. Representative Richard Richardson for our personal privilege. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And excuse me, the excitement of the day had me distracted. But I do want to take this opportunity, members, to ask that you join with me and welcome Miss Jessica Smith and Miss Heather Cambers to uh, the fourth grade class from Central Intermediate School in my district. These two classes are joining us today by our internet. I recently had the pleasure of. Representative Richard. Yes. So, hold on. Members. Members, will you give Representative Richardson your attention, please? Thank you. Okay. Thank you, members. And I'll start over again because I want to take this opportunity to welcome Miss Jessica Smith and Miss Heather Camer's fourth grade class from Central Intermediate School that's in my district. These two classes are joining us today by the Internet. I recently had the pleasure of meeting these teachers and their students uh, during a back-to-school visit. They wanted to uh, come today to the Capitol to see the legislature in session, but since they couldn't, they're doing the next best thing. They are following us from the classroom on the Internet. I was so impressed with these students' attentiveness and enthusiasm and the understanding of issues that I wouldn't be surprised uh, as a, if one of the students one of these days wouldn't be standing before this podium as I am. I hope all of you will take the opportunity to participate in the program and engage our students and help build their understanding and support of the democratic institution. It was definitely a rewarding experience for me, and I know it will be for you. Thank you, Ms. Smith and Ms. Kramers, for bringing this program to your students for all you do to help make the Central Community School System one of the best in the state. So, members, if you would join with me in welcoming them, I would appreciate so much. Thank you, Representative Richardson. Representative St. Germain notified the Senate. Mr. Speaker and members, I think I lost my uh, members on the Senate side. They're termed, we all termed out, so some of them stayed. Um, we have reported to the Senate that we're convened and ready to do business. Thank you, Representative St. Germain.